What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 39th jailbreak update video. And this week we witnessed another murder by Apple. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about Apple killing iOS 10.3.2, more about the 9.3.5 Phoenix jailbreak, and also more about Ian Beer's 10.3.2 exploit, fake jailbreaks, and more. Now this episode is gonna be more of a follow-up video to episode 38. So if you have not watched episode 38 yet where I talked about Ian Beer's exploit, the 10.3.2 exploit in depth, make sure you go ahead and watch that. You can find it in the cards and the description right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So first things first, there is no 10.3.1 or 10.3.2 jailbreak out right now and there is not one planned whatsoever so do not believe anything you see on social media especially twitter because it is 100 percent fake there are people on twitter right now that claim to have a 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 jailbreak and it may look legit but do not believe it it is 100 percent fake and it's very easy to fake jailbreaks we've talked about this for many many months here on the channel i hate that i have to keep saying this but do not believe them simply block them they're looking for followers they're looking for likes and they're just trolling the community so just block them don't pay any attention to them because it is fake. You're gonna know when something is real when I retweet it on Twitter, so make sure you're following me on Twitter or of course when I make a video here on the channel. So if you're following me on Twitter and you're subscribed to my channel here on YouTube with the notifications turned on, there should be no reason you're going to YouTube or to Google and searching for 10.3.1, 10.3.2, jailbreak, any of that stuff because there is not one out yet. So searching for it is just completely pointless and you're just gonna get trolled by these fake videos. Anyways, now I can calm down. So Apple did kill iOS 10.3.2 yesterday afternoon if you're following me on Twitter once again, you would have seen exactly when it got killed. So yeah, 10.3.2 stopped being signed yesterday afternoon, which is exactly three weeks after the final release of 10.3.3, which was longer than expected, really. Because if you take a look at the chart here for how long iOS versions they signed for, you're going to see that Apple usually averages about a week or two. But of course, with 10.3.2, we had three weeks to update to it. Now, if you want to see this full chart and more of an explanation behind what it means and what the numbers mean and everything like that, I will have a link down in the description below. I created this for daily iFix myself with my own research. So you can go ahead and check it out if you want to. It's very informative. Now I understand there's a lot of new iPhone users and a lot of new people to the iOS jailbreak community who may be confused by what I mean by saying that Apple killed a firmware. And what I mean by that is that they stopped signing firmwares at a set date, which if you look at that chart, it shows you how many days usually uh, it averages and you can predict the future for it. But at a set date, Apple will stop signing a certain firmware. And that means you can no longer update or downgrade to that firmware through iTunes. So yeah, very simple terms. It just means you can no longer update to that firmware. You're gonna have to go to a version higher than it, which right now would be 10.3.3. So with that being said, I hope you guys did save your 10.3.2 SHSH2 blobs, even if you are on 10.3.2 or 10.3.1 right now. Now, of course, Apple killing 10.3.2 is a pretty big deal right now because of course, Ian Beer's exploit only works for 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 as 10.3.3 patches the bugs used in Ian Beer's exploit. And not only that, but Adam Donensfield's more powerful kernel exploit has only been said to be working on 10.3.1. However, I would imagine that it also works on 10.3.2 but I'd also imagine that it also got patched in 10.3.3. So that makes 10.3.2 being killed a very big deal for those interested in jailbreaking. However, Apple killing 10.3.2 doesn't really change anything as far as where the best place to be is. So the number one best place to be right now is obviously 10.3.1. The second best place would probably be 10.3.2. And then the third best place if I had to rank them would be 10.2.1. And even though I talked about 10.3.3 patching a lot of bugs, I would still save your SHSH2 blobs for it because you never know what could happen. So if you don't know how to save your SHSH2 SHSH2 blobs. I will have a link in the cards right now and also in the description. Make sure you save them for 10.3.3 before you forget. Now let's talk about the Phoenix 9.3.5 32-bit jailbreak, which I did, of course, make a how-to video on. If you missed that, make sure to check the cards in the description right now as well. So this jailbreak was mainly developed and released by Timstar, Seguza, and JK9357 using some old previously published bugs. And of course, this release was amazing for those that were stuck on 9.3.5 without a jailbreak. And it was also amazing for those that had an iPhone 4S just sitting around on 9.3.5 or even not on 9.3.5 because that is the highest version compatible with the 4S. So you can update to 9.3.5 and then jailbreak. Now this jailbreak is actually really stable and it works pretty much the first time every time on my iPhone 4S when I go to re-jailbreak it. However, we may not have to worry about re-jailbreaking pretty soon. And I say that because a security researcher named Prox is apparently working on an untether for 9.3.5. And this would be awesome to see another untethered jailbreak as you know we haven't seen one in a while and I can't really predict, you know I can't really see one coming in the future in like iOS 10 or iOS 11 for jailbreaks just because untethered is just not really a thing anymore.
or semi-tethered is just the way to go nowadays. So it'd be pretty cool to see a new untethered jailbreak in 2017. And of course, I'll let you guys know when and if that does get released here on the channel. And speaking of the Phoenix jailbreak, Jonathan Levin, aka Morpheus, who I talked about in episode 38, wrote up a new chapter for his OS Internals book about the Phoenix jailbreak and exactly how it works. It's a very interesting read for those interested in security research, and I'll have it linked down below for your view for free. As for Ian Beer's 10.3.2 exploit that he did release last week, nothing new has come of that just yet, but I'm sure there's plenty of security researchers and security research teams out there playing around with it as we speak. But of course, we should still be waiting a couple weeks for Adam Donenfield's 10.3.1 kernel exploit and potentially 10.3.2 exploit to be released so we can potentially see something formed together. Potentially somebody put them together, you know, chain them with other exploits. We really don't know what's going to happen, but we should still be waiting a couple weeks before we really start seeing things pick up and get interesting. And since a lot of people in my last video were pretty confused by the terminology I was using when I was explaining Ian Beer's exploit, a Reddit user actually wrote out a very easy to understand terminology, basically an explanation of this exploit and what it means in layman's terms for anybody to understand. And it goes like this. Imagine you're in a prison. You have unlocked the door to your cell and gotten past the guards, which is like escaping the sandbox for Ian Beer's exploit. Now you need to find a way to convince and manipulate the warden, which is the colonel, to get access to all prison security, which is root access and disabling security features, so you can do what the hell you want, which of course would be read write access. Then you're a free man, which is jailbroken, and you can wear any clothes you want, which are like tweaks like anemone and things like that. So I hope that helps you guys understand Ian Beer's exploit a little bit better. Shout out to this Reddit user for coming up with this very creative and I think it really explains it well. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. This was more of a follow-up to the last video instead of a bunch of new news that you know nobody's heard of. More of a follow-up video. I just wanted to get this out there because I like keeping you guys as up-to-date as possible as soon as possible. So if you enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to be notified when the next episode drops and of course when the new jailbreak drops I will be one of the very first on YouTube to upload a video about it. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for that. But anyways guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.